probably the most interesting part of the house. The whole steps have collapsed under here. For some reason, I'm standing on them. Hey, it's Chuck Case and Kid, and it's an abandoned house. Let's go see what's in it. Pocket doors. A lot of graffiti. I'm just gonna watch where I'm walking. It's probably a beautiful house at one time. More pocket doors. This is a really small front room here. Probably the pocket door that goes right there. It's on a pretty busy road. And there's another abandoned house nearby, but that one's posted pretty good. Kitchen, I guess. A little hutch. Look at the uh, hinge details on the hinge. Steeple pin hinges, I think they're called. And there was a little powder room on the first floor. Oh man, the whole back of this house is collapsing. What do you think's down there? So this was uh, probably a garage that got added onto. Basement stairs look pretty janky. I might try going down them, but not until I go upstairs. Uh, there's the hole right there from the kitchen and it looks like the header on this window collapsed and that's where all this rubble is and debris corner closet that's kind of cool a lot of raccoon poo and maybe at one time it had a uh, maybe a pot-bellied stove in here for uh, not stove but you know, yeah stove for um Heat. This room is awesome. This must have been the master bedroom. 
Door's a little shady. These are four panel doors. Two over two, there's a little bird nest in the Nice bay window. Another home ceiling. Let's see if we can see the other house. The other abandoned house is right there through the window. I think it's in better shape. Bedroom. Very shallow closet. Look at that. The closet is so shallow that you can't even put a hanger in it. It's the remnants of another bird nest. It's like a three and a half foot tub, cast iron. That is a very small tub. All right, let's see what's on the third floor. Lots and lots of feathers. So, probably going to be um, some kind of vultures, turkey vultures, maybe black vultures. I guess we'll see. Man, this is a nice walk up attic. Sides. That's the master bedroom with the bay windows there. Framing still looks pretty good. tube wiring so that's pre 1920s that's the chimney for where I, that uh, pot-bellied stove might have been in that back bedroom 
clip the door so that it would close on the angle right there. Handrail's gone. There's one of the window weights for the double hum, which are missing. These stairs are pretty cool. Really big box banister. It's definitely not original. Really neat. Wonder why. Wonder how and why. Someone must have liked the handrail. That that's why it got pulled out. And that's what it should look like. Very kind of a it's oak. It's a turned baluster. Nice big beefy handrail. Still looks like it's in fairly decent shape. Okay, I'm gonna see if we can head downstairs, but I think the stairs are um, not safe. I just hit my head. Yeah, I'd say these stairs aren't safe. But that's probably the most interesting part of the house. The whole steps have collapsed under here. For some reason I'm standing on them. I'll see if I can take a look at that um, by going out the back. I don't know. I'll try walking around the outside of the house. That's probably how they first got into the house, after breaking out this window. Really tall baseboard. It's a shame. It's probably a very beautiful house and probably a lot of history at one time. that bump out. Semi, 53 foot semi on the property. Here's that addition. Got the dog ear cedar shakes on the very top of the gable up there. 
It's a cool detail. The rest of the house is stucco on stone. Oh my god, there's an RV back here as well. Some kind of dump truck. Oh wow, there's also a barn. Jeez. Look at that. Place is a mess. Corrugated tin roof barn. The whole structure is kind of leaning to the left at the top. But it's, uh, I think they call this balloon framing, where the post goes from like the um, top plate, uh, the bottom plate all the way up to the th top plate and then the gables on top of that you know like one and two floors maybe you don't know but I always thought there's some toilets in there I'll see if I can walk around oh there was a chicken coop on the second floor see these little dots on this post that's from a bug called a powder post beetle. Look at them all up and down there. That's an old, old post, old piece of timber there. Looks like someone pulled off a board here to go inside. mess this isn't the original siding on it it had to have been resided at some point so that's the other abandoned house it looks like someone's parked in the driveway there and there's also a lot of signs saying that it's video cameras and it's posted all over the place. That's not the case with this one. Oh, wow, look at that. I didn't catch that detail before, but see, there's like a, a pointed kind of witch's hat roof on that uh, bump out. That is really, really neat. I don't know if you can pick it up because of the sun. But that is a pretty cool detail. This truck still has air in the tires. This is a big tank, like a big, I don't know what it is, a big oil tank or something. Maybe like a trucker lived here and that's his truck and he stored gas or something or fuel in here. Especially if he was driving in the 70s. Perforated pipe. Here's some insulation and some pipe. 
Looks like that's the set of stairs to be able to walk in and out of this. Still in fairly decent shape. It's, I think it's just a truck. Yeah, it's not the rig. Unless that's the rig right there. And I don't think it is. Oh, it's a reefer. It's a refrigeration unit. Yeah, that's a dump truck. Check out the detail on the seats. It's got the Bulldog, the Mac Bulldog on them. That's pretty cool. Ooh, they're still intact. The Mac truck. It's gone. Probably a big, like, valves that thing has or how many cylinders that thing has there you get to see the the roof that I was talking about it's got like a pointed witch's hat roof on that And then next to it, uh, those are called doghouse gables because they look like a little doghouse sitting on the top of your on the top of your roof. Oh, I'm sorry, doghouse dormer, dormer. So that's a doghouse dormer. Whole house is a tin roof. I thought it was a shingle roof. Okay, it looks like they put the, this is, uh, I think this is going to be developed at some point. This is in a fairly decent spot. Alright, till the next time.